guys so we're back the next little princess we have is miss lacy and lacy was not feeling it today she did not want to get her hair done but don't worry at the end of the video she'll be a whole different person lacy's mom also lets me do whatever i want so we're just gonna dive in and see what happens I'm gonna start with some um, little braids. I'm thinking a mohawk type style. So I'm just gonna start braiding her hair um, into a mohawk. You'll notice that these braids are not super, super neat. I never tried to braid a child's hair so neat and so tight you know just for a look these are babies and their hair is fragile so my motto when braiding kids hair is to be gentle and to be quick you have to get done really fast because they will get irritated and you have to be gentle or else they'll hate getting their hair done they won't want to come back so I'm not braiding to have it super super neat I'm just trying to get done with the process before she gets irritated. But yeah, anyways, I'm just going to braid her hair into a mohawk. So right here, you're going to see me part off a little section of hair. I plan to do something different with that, so I'm just going to part that off and put it away and finish the mohawk. So now I'm back to this part, and I'm just going to do the pyramid or stair step or whatever people, I don't know what you call it, but it's just when you rubber band off the sections and connect them. So I'm going to start with one piece. I'm going to braid that down into two braids and then on the next row I'm going to have two pieces and I'll connect them with more rubber bands and then on the next row I'll have three and so I'm using the red white and blue rubber bands again. I didn't do the same exact thing on either side I rarely ever do um, but once I finished the other side I just pinned her hair down into three little balls and we're gonna start adding some um, crochet hair into it I'm just gonna add about five to six pieces of crochet twist wrap it around into a ball and um, pin it down be sure not to stick the babies with the pins because there's nothing more irritating than a hairpin stuck in your scalp. to get 
get some twists that look good. I just grabbed something while I was in the store and these twists look like they're not tight. Like they're not grade A, you know? And I would have rather some some a little less frizzy. Um, I'm not sure how long these will last, but I already informed her mom, you know, if she has any problems to bring her back. But yeah, look for some twists that look more natural. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But in this part here, I'm not going to pin the twist into a ball. I'm going to leave them down. Um, and we're going to put some beads on the end. Now we just go in and do our routine, baby hairs, uh, gel down any imperfections, put a couple bows up there, and we'll be done. So this is style number two. If you like style number two and you'd like to see it featured as my style of the month on my social media platforms, please comment number two down below and stay tuned for style number three and four so that you can vote. If you like this video, thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel. As always, this is Miss Versatile. I love you dolls.